My love for writing started when I was eight years old because that's the only thing that got me out of trouble whenever my mom got angry at me. With my voice tingling with excitement, I told my father alongside a few family members some of the thoughts forming in my mind at the time. But the responses range from absolute disgust to naysaying. No, 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 no. Miriam, I disagree with what you are showing me. I am not in agreement with it at all. And let me even ask you, how many rich writers or poets do you know out there in the world? How many? that you are showing me this. Most people I engaged said, I'm a woman and no man will marry me if I'm all over the media. My dad didn't believe that I could make a living nor a life doing poetry. And to be honest, it's not exactly our parents' fault. It's the intergenerational gap, which you must be patient enough to leave the vision so they see it. And that's when they will fall in line and understand. It's not always easy when it feels like the entire world is against you. I have felt the negative bias with regards to women within the creative industry in general in the North. As a daughter of the North, birthed by an incredible woman, Hawamena, an actress who made the world feel weightless on me. One very interesting scenario occurred when, despite having two proposed suitors checking out because I am an actress's daughter. Uh, he said he has found an amazing woman uh, that he would like to bring into our own family. Uh, and that is exactly where we are here. Your uh, You look very familiar with her. Tell me, madam, who, who Hajia, who are you? Hajia is not. You are the actress for. Ah, we have to have a conversation. We have to have a conversation. I'm sorry, you do. I would like to uh, excuse myself here. Yeah? Get up, young man. We shall continue this conversation another day, but not today, for. Thank you very much. No, 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 no. Actress, actress for on the TV, on the television. Actress on the television. Ibrahim, let's, let us go. Thank you, thank you. A woman who never let me feel weak or any less of a person. And when it was said, what will an actress's daughter amount to anyway? Especially one raised by a single mother. She didn't waver. Even when members of my family said hurtful things to discard my vision of being a strong voice for my generation, she still didn't waver. She only had one question in mind. Is this really what you want to become? And I answered in affirmation. And then she said, Then don't let anybody stop you. Not even the death of me. Today, my family and loving dad are proud to see me speak on global platforms, including the African Union. They now acknowledge that greatness knows no gender, and it can come in different forms, conventional or non-conventional. Heavy size and nine. Art I was denied became like a diamond in the dirt I opened up to speak, sit not in the council of men, they said. Self-esteem almost crippled. I was seen as just a girl. I took a book to read, but nay, they gave me kids to feed. I took a book to read, but nay, they gave me trade to hawk. I took a book to read, this is not for you, they said as though there is no need. Don't strip me of literacy, I pleaded. 
I felt so confined for I knew there is more to me than distant facing me I had to fight towards a battle. To be freed from this shackle, for education's the solution for the power of expression I cannot trade. So I stood against oppression, saving myself from depression. The art in me I expressed some as books and some as speeches. And now when I stand to speak, they listen. When I pick a book to read, they pay attention. Cause now they see art in my passion. I still need and feed, but in fashion. For education did not strip me of my roles, but refinement and liberation. It isn't just my heart. It isn't just my smile. It isn't just my eyes. It is the positivity you can feel from the vibe that I fought a lot of battles, yet I still stand for I believe your gender shouldn't determine your strength but the ability to pull through a situation either on your knees or still standing. Call me the crowning point of the Northern Nigeria. Under 40 CEOs, they said I couldn't. Brought to you by Sunlight. Sunlight celebrates and empowers enterprise of women who want to do more and be more for themselves and their communities because there's more to you and sunlight than you expect.